Hi everybody, Lou Barney, and uh, today I'm going to be making a, yet another podcast. Uh, this one is about uh, Star Wars Battlefront EA or Origin, whatever the fuck it is. I don't fucking remember. Battlefront Dice. None of that sounds right for some reason. I don't know. Um, but the beta happened last week, two weeks ago, something like that. Um, I don't know, and I, I just wanted to make another podcast, like a first impressions type thing. Um, it'll be going up on SoundCloud audio only and then the video right now, which I'm pointing at my other monitor because that's where I can see myself. Um, but yeah, this... Um, I, I liked the uh, I liked it a lot, but uh, here's some things I have written down, kind of scripted. Hold on, let me. Eh, shit, I wish I could put it in the full screen so I can see the full damn thing. Um, but anyways, from what I can tell from the beta, I believe the game is worth it, and you should buy this. I would buy this, uh, especially if you're like a Battlefield fanatic or a Star Wars fanatic or like a Battle Fantasy fanatic. 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 Fuck. Um. Yeah, I I would I would do that if you're like into Battle Fantasy, like uh, the Star Wars, especially in Battlefield, especially. Uh, you should get this game really. Um, there were in the beta some noticeable noticeable visual and hitbox um, glitches, like you know you're walking around some objects and it it just you kind of like merged with the object because the hitbox wasn't all the way there or the hitbox was too far out from the from the object kind of I mean this is a beta so that's that's what it's for but uh, I'm just letting you know that the game wasn't fucking perfect uh, the loading screens were not long at all um, which is really great for me because it takes me so goddamn long to load into a game of Battlefield it's no idea you have no idea it it takes me literally five minutes to load into a small server of deathmatch in battlefield i'm not even kidding you it takes five minutes because the loading screens for me are that long and i hate it so much does this happen to anybody else or the like real quick for everybody else it, it takes so goddamn long for me um And, um, you know, another thing that I noticed with Battlefield is that I, I have five minute loading uh, screens and I get into the game and the game's still not fucking loaded. I'm falling through the map and shit's invisible and shit because it's still not fucking loaded and it pisses me off. And Battlefront, it's all the way loaded. I'm not like... It's not being fucky for me or anything like that when I first joined. And it is really great. I, I love it. That I can, you know, sit through like a minute or less in a loading screen and the full damn game is loaded up. I have never seen that with any um, Origin or like EA titles. Electronic Arts, you know, DICE, whatever. It happened to me in Battlefield Hardline Beta. It would take it, it the in Battlefield Hardline Beta, the uh, loading screens it, it, they were short, but it would still I I still couldn't it still wasn't all the way loaded when the loading screen was done. So maybe this is just because it was in a beta, because it happened to me in um, Battlefield uh, Hardline. Um, but sometimes sometimes when I got into a game. Of Battlefront, it it would, I would kind of like skip around. It wasn't like lag, but it was just, it just didn't, it did not perform properly. Is what I'm trying to say. It just did not fucking work properly. Sometimes it was, uh, it would it would fix itself after a minute, but sometimes it just it was really weird. Your movement was just weird. Um. And, it, and it, I know it wasn't ping, because if it was ping, I couldn't fucking hit anybody I was shooting at. I was shooting at people. Let me fix that. I was shooting at people uh, when that was uh, happening, and I was hitting them. So it couldn't have been ping. 
so I hope that's not going to be an actual feature. Again, I know it's a beta, so it's not going to be a perfect game. I'm going to take a sip. Um, let's see, what else do I have written down here? Kind of criticizing the shit. Um, uh, yeah, and... It, it, it happened to me in Battlefield Hardline, too, where, like, I would join in, and it was just weird. It, it was the same shit. It, it just it wasn't fluid at first. Um, and, that, and that was with the beta. I, did, I do not own the full Battlefield Hardline um, game at all. It just, I don't think it was a game for me, really. Um, but honestly, yes. I would I would buy this game definitely when it comes out. Um, but please do not come into this game um, expecting it to be like a Star Wars mill sim or like a Battlefield uh, reskin in, into like a Star Wars game. Like if you reskin Battlefield 4 and into a Star Wars game, don't come into the game thinking it's that. Don't come into the game for that reason. It's not a mill sim. It's not a reskin. Um, the game, it is rather easy. Um, like, really fucking easy. Because, especially flight mechanics, you are literally, you are controlling your mouse cursor flying around. You have no other control other than your mouse. That That's pretty much it. I mean, you have throttle with your S and W key, but that is it. That's all you control your mouse and your throttle and I mean I don't I kinda want a little bit more control over the shit because it's just it's weird it's hard to get used to but it, it is it's really easy so I mean if I, if I were dice I would keep it like this and not like let everybody's bitching get to you because it's easy in the game. It's not meant for hardcore gamers. It's meant to, for a casual gamer or like a little kid. Um, yeah, you're basically pointing your aircraft into this into whatever direction you point your mouse. Um, and, and yeah, it just it didn't really ever feel like you had much control. But just yeah, keep in mind it's for like younger gamers and casual gamers. Um, and supposedly, I'm, don't quote me on this, but I'm not 100%, but the game does not support a uh, VoIP system. If you don't know what VoIP is, it is like in-game voice where you can talk to other players through your microphone. Um, supposedly, it doesn't have that, and I'm kind of glad because, the, and let me explain why I arrived at that. The reason is, is because if you allow... Um, VoIP in a game like this that's meant for like little kids or casual gamers there will be assholes within that group there will be and it will start to begin to cause like a negative um, like a negative community around the game where everybody's just starting to hate each other like you, I mean you can type and shit but there there's no VoIP for supposedly you know still don't quote me but um, I, I'm glad that there's no VoIP because uh, it would just cause a just a negative uh, following of the game, and it wouldn't be considered for little kids anymore. If you have somebody getting in there screaming um, certain words that I'm not going to say, uh, mainly because this, uh, I'm not going to edit this shit and audacity because that is a lot of work trust me it's it's a lot to fuck with and I'm not fully in my head's not fully in the game right now but uh, back on the topic there there there's inevitably be I can't even say that fucking word right now you know what inevitably I can't I can't fucking you know what? I don't give a shit there, there will be assholes in the game. Just, there will be. Um, sure, they'll type some mean shit, but who the fuck cares that you're typing? 
I don't, I personally, I don't look at the uh, type feed in pretty much any game unless I'm with my friends. Um, but yeah, it, it'll be a hell of a lot more positive if there are no, uh, is that no VoIP in the game. Now, maybe if there's like squad only VoIP, maybe that would be different. If, if you had a friend, you could only be like, uh, be able to talk to your partner in the game, uh, push to talk, but you would be doing that with your friends and you'd probably be on TeamSpeak or Skype anyway, so that kind of eliminates that. Um, some things that can be changed, uh, I think, are the star card. Um, they need, I, they, they're a little bit big. Um, and why the fuck do you call them star cards? I mean, I know they're cards and, like, I, I don't get the whole, like, card factor of the game, just... Call it fucking special abilities. Seriously, it's what they are. They're fucking special abilities for your character. I'm, I'm. That's all it is. It's called star cards because it looks like a fucking card, a big fucking card in the, in the bottom right hand corner of your screen. That's they're big fucking cards in the bottom right hand corner of your screen that um, take up too much room. Um. Yeah, just make them s smaller or add a little bit of transparency to them. They'll be fucking perfect. Um, here, let me uh, let me tell you some things that um, I think could be added. Um, maybe later a Clone Wars DLC. I think uh, a Clone Wars DLC would be phenomenal because I, I like I like the Clone Wars era and fucking Star Wars lore, whatever the fuck you call. It. I don't fucking care. To be quite honest with you, um, but uh, a clone, a Clone Wars DLC would be fun, um, and definitely a fucking ping counter. Why the fuck did you guys not add a ping counter? Why? That that, that fucking pissed me off like you wouldn't believe. They did not add a like a ping counter. Like, I wanted to check my ping, and I fucking couldn't, and I couldn't understand if it was ping, or if the game was being fucky. I couldn't tell. Like, with the way your character was fucking up and shit, I just, I couldn't tell there was no ping counter in the game. I didn't see one. They just, they 100% need to add that. If anything else, add a fucking ping counter. Please. Um... Yeah, that that uh, that pretty much. Other than that, that wraps uh, that wraps everything up. So I hope y'all enjoyed. Please like, rate, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, like my page on Facebook, visit my website, look at my Instagram. Um, sorry, I went I went and look making eye contact with the camera. It's because I'm using my webcam, and it's hard for me to do that. If I was using my actual camera, I would have. But I I would I had to make sure that it was recording uh, over here. Sorry about that. I didn't I didn't really think this out well. Um bye. I thought you were gonna subscribe. No. Subscribe. Please. Okay. As long as you subscribe.